game one of the best of five for the February 2024 semi pro final. Drunken Master in yellow on the top, and we have Funky Monkey on the bottom in red. Uh, you can see the economies in the bottom bar next to the current score. I got a mini map there for you. Dogs already out there. Come across the island. We can meet up over the middle. Not really surprising. Oh, ignore it. We got conscripts on uh, the drunkens. We went for a sentry with the oil for Funky. Or a factory out for Drunken. That's going to be a pretty big lead. It's already five seconds and a load of conscripts. We're going to do a conscript rush. Here we come. Oh, conscripts are coming back. And there's a war factory. Got a random advantage. Um, we're drunken right now, but it's not too much. I'm the mediator in this game, baby. A huge rush. Oh, bunker out. The sentry on that corner. It's the sentry. Changes to the bunker. Gets the bunker. He's committing to the sentry. And we're just sitting here. Oh, now we're gonna load the bunker up. Trying to get that power plant. Gets run over. And this looks like it's gonna be a lost battle for Drunken at the end, but he got a lot of damage done. Drunken now has some tanks come back to support. One veteran script out there. A whole lot of fodder up here. Funky right now. No one's moving to go toward those yet. And as I say that, there he goes. We got a group of seven. We're drunken going that way. And Funky staying in his base. Oh, we're moving. Two minutes in. Second War Factory and four new oils. This is War Factories and only two new oils. Drunk comes around. Oh, looks like he's going to commit, but backed off. Sentry out right by the MCV. And Drunken backs off. Looks like Funky's going to push some pressure. Poke the fodder. Nothing coming of it. I uh, got four more down there. Really hold them off on the left side of the base there. The second group down below, right on the other side of that bridge, as Funky moves forward into the center right and starts coming around on the back side to try to advance the same way. Spins toward the center, pushes right through a couple of sentries. Not gonna lose a whole bunch of tanks there. It's back in trying to peel, did not peel correctly, loses a war factory. And Funky's going to walk out with a veteran rhino and call that a win. Uh, Drunk Master is almost out of money. I'm hit up around a thousand there. Funky's got a little bit more, but not a ton. Looks like tank advantage is in Funky's uh, favor right now. Drunk really wants to pull all the way around, though. Reinforcements have arrived. There goes the crate, and Funky's going to jump that right away. Free money. Pretty even base here, three and two actually still. Not rebuilt the third one yet. Got power in another bunker. Ton of fodder for Funky. If so, if Duncan went tech here, he could just end that whole plan. Shaking up, there's the desolator. So that's gonna really help here. Because those cockpits can only do so much. We've got a split here, got mostly riders going to the left. We got a whole bunch of concepts coming to the right. Desolator out to the right there. Are they going to pop? And... Yep, there they all go. Hey. Monkey thought about coming to the island instead of going to try to wrap it around. Thank you. Monkey got the corner oil. So that's going to be a little bit of the econ advantage there. But Monkey has $10,000. He's not concerned about that right now. Questions: Will those get out, or will they be pinched? Right now, it looks like they're going to get pinched. But oh, reinforcements come in to push Funky back. Here, Terra drones out. Terra drones out for Funky. Under the uh, desolators. I'm just kind of cutting around. We're at almost five minutes. You no know, super weapons have popped. You'll see the super weapons just above Funky Monkey's economy. Will they do come out? Uh, in no tech for Funky still. I do have tech and a nuke reactor right in the middle of all those. That is dangerous. If Funky's able to get in there and kill that nuke reactor, that's going to be devastating. Kirov oh, Kirov out and our Iron Curtain. Paradron's trying to harass. Did get into a couple of the tanks. 
Three tanks. Three tanks for two drones, that's a good deal. Rocky's gonna bring a group over. Maybe we have a battle right about here. Push the fodder out. Going all the way to the bottom. Spins around. Get some extra drones out. Yeah, black tracks out. Gonna get that Kiro really quickly. About to get a distraction with those that drone, that drones. Ooh, gonna get a couple drones in that group. That's gonna be some good damage. Cap coming in, desolator out. Got the desolator pushing through by Funky down to the bottom of the map. Do you think he sees the same thing I do? His heat all spring out. The reinforcements way up there did not get anything out of that. All those tanks are gone. Can you turn around and fix it? A lot of lost. A lot of tanks lost. Oh, and drones did get into the tanks. Must be tanks there. Uh, Funky's came it to the right side. Rocket's gonna walk all the way around, pull the most of the attention back, and go right into the base. Bunker, pop some tanks, push in, crates back up, desolator out there. Focusing on the desolator to try to get that radiation damage got down. Battle lab out for Funky. Uh, Franken's going straight into the base, floor factory down, MCB down. We just can go for filler here. Another war factory down there. Still five war factories out though. Drones are being spammed over here. And get another war factory maybe? Four. Yep. Out of four war factories, two barracks, and quite a lot of options still. What's down here? That that went through and that took out. Ah, I missed the other bit. The other attack. Looks like that went first. We have opposite Kiros. Out. A whole bunch of desolators in the group over here. Coming through. All the drones out to counter. Oh, that's a lot of death. All of those tanks are going to be trashed. Three heroes out. For Drunken, one out. For Funky. Two for Black Tracks coming around to get that Kiro. Bunch of drones coming around too for Funky. That's seven and a half minutes already. Holy cow. All of those drones went in to get those desolators and did not do very well. Got one kilo coming across there. This one survived to the cone to the corner. These ones are probably gonna fall. Now we're getting some drop on the flash tracks. And that's the end of that one. Here, got on the flat cannon. Up plant. The battle lab, that'd be big. That's just for any distraction. I can go for economy because they're both playing on stupid money right now. He gets forty thousand dollars in the bank. All uh, right, now I think Drunken has the advantage of this one because I uh, in his base in the hallway. Yep, there's another one. They're calling GG there, and that's one win for Drunk Master. Uh, One hundred twenty-nine losses for Drunk Master. Two seventy losses for Funky Monkey. Total score is tr oh, almost quadruple. We're going to game two, Allied versus Allied. Uh, Drunken and yellow is going to be on top. Funky and red is going to be at the bottom. Looks like they have the same positions as last time. See which direction each of these players go. This map was like four pixels too big for to get both bases in view. Got to out AFC first. So we're going to have an AFC start versus a pillbox and a war factory. Okay, so. Monkey's going for the fast start here with the there she goes the Rocky and a, and a Black Eagle. Gonna go a anti uh, tank, whereas Duncan's gonna go traditional start. Got IFV out, and harass. Got the IFV, saved the Eagle. There's the War Factory from Funky. Here comes an IFV. Push it right down. Fighting. Very nice. There's an oil. Well, that's a lot of lost income. There's Patriot Missile out to counter that. Monkey is almost out of money. Down to about 500. Drunk has got about 1500. Oops, three. Probably going to try to aim for the barracks, but we're going to get cut off by the IFVs. The Guardian GIs coming out. The tank moving, but not very many. Forcing him to build into the. I IFVs really changes the calculus of that allied game. I try again with the three I or the three black eagles pulling all of the attention away. 
think Good Soldier's plan was to try to get them to go. Did not fall into the trap with the Grizzlies. These are getting a little bit of GGIs, which will increase their firepower a little bit. Along with a couple of regular GIs to get the infantry, but I'm going to push them right into the throat. Pop both those defenses. He's going to roll around. Do some damage here. Got a second work factory down there. Only one trunk master. But this harassing uh, uh, IFVs in the back are going to be a problem. Oh, yes. Yeah, these guys are four levels ahead of what I play. Um, they are much better. One of them is even high enough where he got his own logo for the group. Oh, so, yeah, he, they are much better than I am. Oh, you got some grizzlies to match in. I'm gonna try again, get those eagles to harass. Comes in with some grizzlies down below. Backs off. I got four full. I'm expecting a second AFC here just to really go some harassment here. Try to drop in the back, try to distract the IFVs. Goes in. You get, the, get the power, but how many things can move? One, two. Uh, I call that a win. Only lost two tanks there. He's gonna push right through because he knows he has advantage. The sniper gets toasted. There's the second I, um, AFC. Do some stuff there. There's the money crate. See who gets that. We have Rockies for yellow. Gonna get these completely AFK GIs here. Or not, they're just gonna, everyone's gonna sit there and just have a nice little party. There's two. Two light eagles for an oil. Not really worth it economically up front, but eh. Because this game, you don't need all the oils. Sniper IFV gets a couple of GIs. That means he's gonna use defensive GI run. He leaving these GIs up here. He could come in here and rush this oil if he wanted. Lost almost everyone on that. Oh, he's kiting him to try to get the tiny got the, the oil and the uh, power plant. Rocky's group pushed in, harassing the tanks. Not much out of that, but did get the GIs that were on the center base. Three uh, War Factory. Good. Okay. Oh, and here comes Counter. Oh, that got the one Air Force Command right away. Pushing these tanks right in. The Rocketeer's dying down here. Who gets out of this and he comes out on the wrong end of that exchange. He had advantage going in and lost it. I'm going to take care of those AFK GIs. Here comes another group of... Only brings two of them. Oh, and it's one tick short. He's looking for an anti-air. There's only one war factory over here. That's a lot of missing protection. We're up four war factories, so I'm just waiting to tech up so we can get some Mirage tanks. Or I'd love to see some tanks, but I know they're not really viable in multi. They're just fun to play with. A lot of people use the sniper IFVs. I'm not as good, but I like the seal IFVs. It's just a little bit, little bit cheaper, and they fire a little bit faster. The range is just a little bit shorter, though. Defends his oil with the Patriot missile. Junk has enough money, though. He has like 12,000 at the bank. There's a big group. Big group. What's he going to do with it? He's going to take, he's going to take oil and barracks. Couple defensive structures, but loses three of his eagles over here. Got a tank battle going on. It looks like Monkey's gonna go with this one, but uh, Rocketeers push the fight away. A lot of Rocketeers. There's even more right there. Oh, those IFBs are toast. Did not stand a chance. The defensive pair drop, and now we're going in here. I down, got a lot of stuff low. Gets, gets the War Factory. He gets this. Well, that's gonna be much on the game. If he can get this, this barracks up here, that's gonna be all, all that's left. He's gonna run off. We're gonna have defensive have defense here. Pops the tank. Oh, he's running straight in with those tanks. He's hoping for the best here. All everything's coming. Give him a bunch of uh, Drunken's final push here. Gets a power. Pulls in. I was going to keep like, that barracks. Did get the barracks. That's going to be it. Barring essentially a white. And yeah, these rockets are pretty much all that's it. That's a GG. Monkey Monkey takes the allied versus allied. 
There it is. There we go. Game two. We are now tied 1-1. 112 loss for Funky Monkey, 155 by Drunk Master. Stories again about, well, about triple this time instead of uh, quadruple. Game three, we have Allied, Drunk Master, Yellow up top, and Red, Funky Monkey, uh, Soviet on the bottom. Tech building captured. Happens here generally in this matchup. The Soviet player has advantage early on. I mean, you can count with the Allied, but this is a really small map, so it makes it a little bit harder. Dogs running out, running around. Goes into GIs for defense and a kill box. Has the sentry gun and some concrete dishonor. Allied with War Factory. Will for Soviet, that's interesting. Bad. We got tanks, and oh, we have no tanks over here. There's a ton of conscripts. About close to the same level of GIs, so there's the War Factory. I really wanted to be cheeky. If he gets far enough, he can get a spy out and get into the production building that's really through, because there's no dock down here. I don't think he's going to bring his dock back, so he's got a chance to do something kind of cheeky. See if he catches on to that. Meeting over on the right side at the pinch point. Double pull box and some tanks are going to push back two tanks and some conscripts. Pretty easy to do that. There's only one for each. $2,000 for both. There's a second war factory for the Soviet player. That's a good thing for them. So I'm going to close my activity to the left here. Monkey's going to fake a split and move around all of Drunk Master's tanks for a second. The player doesn't want to move. The Soviet player is not taking initiative early. Gives them a chance to pack up. We do have some eagles building up there. And we just, just have. This. They got some dogs on patrol from early in the game. Here comes the no anime already takes out the barracks, reset the tech tree. On the flashback out of time. He was building something like a battle lab or his radar. He has the radar out. This build going forward because he can't build the next building. We have tech from the Allied. Here comes a group of four. See him? There he goes, a little bit late. Let's get the kite. Uh, looks like Junkin's gonna run and get that by a mile. Get the pot shot out of the way, but no damage actually done. Seems like very. We do have a chrono spear up and an iron curtain going. Chrono spear brought a little power though, so that's not ideal. Just later out, we're gonna get those GIs without any problems. Iron curtain being three minutes ahead of the chrono sphere will make a difference if the timing is right. Double nuke reactor. Okay. Don't really need to fish them right next to each other because that's that will do damage to the second one when they when the one goes. But we're gonna have Dessel Bomb. Dessel bomb load up there. Uh let's see what he does with that. Good factory. I have two war factories here. Triple AFC in the back though, so that's gonna be big for uh, air if he decides to push the advantage. Drones coming out as well, I heard that. Run around left, and master tanks. Oh, sees the advance and pulls back the battle fortress up here. Rack tanks out, harassing. Nothing here but just trees on that bridge. All of those eagles in the sky. The question is which one of these has the boys in them? Pick off some of those rockets, that's gonna be expensive. Big, big group. Field forced. Saves it and loses almost all of his rockies, or almost all of his eagles. Tanks come in. And... 15 seconds, the yeah, I guess. 
almost botched that. Did get some damage off, but I don't think that would that Dustle Bomb was worth it. There was enough sniper in there, and he walked right to the radiation. Does damage, he's getting picked off. Rocky's from above. Does get a split going though, tries to pull everyone around. And I don't think he does it. That Iron Curtain only gets two, so that was not an ideal hit. He rushes right behind the base. Get the force shield down on the Battle 11 Chronosphere. And it's just going to eat uh, the rest of that group. Uh, looks like we have four war factories and industrial plant for the Soviet player. We have four war factories in general for the Allied player. Almost here comes a huge group of eagles. We got a bunch of Iraqis over here on the left, so they're probably going to join them. Prism tank out. Ah, that's like to see. Is that gets an oil? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is nine for a moment. That is expensive. Got mine to burn, and all those Iraqis are gone too. Might be elite flak tracks. Another oil out. Black cannons out. Let's do a little bit more damage, but they're stationary. Chronosphere right to the back of the base. Gets the iron curtain. And that is worth it. That resets all that. We have siege choppers coming out like crazy here. New barracks out. We have double barracks. Thanks. Crate support out. Gets the money. Crate coming over. And. Thank you. Uh, empty back up. Those, those, those cockpits are toast. He shot the whole Dessel bomb right there. It the rest of those tanks. This T chopper's gonna go. Pretty full. I'm gonna try to pull him. Meanwhile, we got a split over here with Funky Monkey. One of his rhinos along the side. He sees it. We got the Eagles still coming over here. He's going to get thrashed here. What's he going to get out of that? Get the War Factory and lose the most of the Eagles again. These Rhinos got almost nothing in return. Where they did get some of the IFEs. Curtain rebuild over here yet. Sea Chopper just come right in. The rest of the Eagles get one of the EFTs. I set the set down on to deploy. I don't know what they're gonna do. They're just gonna they're pinned back there, so. Rhinos come back in to try to support them. Gets the rest of the IFPs. That was a good pickup. That that reinforcement might have got more reinforcements coming in from the bottom. Please move ready a few seconds here. This group might get pinned, but we got more reinforcements coming through. Not really sure what's happening there. Really back there, interesting. Twin Master College GG's. That is another win for Funky. Game four. Monkey could win on this one, and Trunk Master needs to win this one to stay alive. It's best of five. Uh, Trunk Master going to be Excellent Soviet on top, action. and we're going to have Allied on the bottom by Monkey. The late, the, the last game of the Siege Chopper is just served as a distraction, which worked really well against that AFC um, grouping in the back here. Uh, the only thing it really didn't do was secure the game, but the distraction pulled the IFBs up, got the uh, Rhinos into the base, and ended it. So we'll see what happens this time. Uh, Monk's going to do the same thing he did in his allied game, the ABA game, and start with just a harassment with Eagles. Out on that one, a single one though, because the one does not do much damage. Need three to kill a barracks or an uh, AFC, which they don't have AFC, so it's radar. Need five to kill an oil. It looks like uh, Trunk is just gonna rush. If you let the Soviets do best, just rush. Still in conflict there. Oh, did you get the one tank? Knife down. Let's see what happens here. This is this is gonna be big. A tank destroyer out, kill left out, sold the war factory. Trying his best. Got another tank in there. Sniper gets run over again. That's unfortunate. Really needs help here. This is like going to be an easy game for uh, trying to finish up. Hopefully that those ran over the elite. Here comes the reinforcements. He might. He might hope it. Drunk needs to get get up on it. He is out of money, so he is sipping on fumes in that respect. Those two tanks go AFK for a second. Take another pick from the pillbox. 
you can force down the barracks or force down the reservoir factory out, that's going to be easy to hurry up. He has a little bit of money now to do something. Get that, get that down. There we go. He's going to retreat into the pool the other day. He had a chance to do something bigger there. I don't know if he would have made it, but uh, he had a chance. So. Tank destroyers. Very interesting to see someone use tank destroyers. I don't think I've seen a game where someone actually used tank destroyers purposely. But I mean, you do destroy tanks, but you use them a lot of other things. So, fun to see that those special units are actually used. The defensive terror drop. Put the dogs in tanks here. Got two war factories up top. One at the bottom did tech up real quick though. So let's see if he goes straight over to Mirages or not. Chronos. I heard Chronos. I desolated to look at the Desolate Pile. Missed the barracks. Oh, that's unfortunate. We have Colonel Legionnaires coming out. I'm very curious where these are going to go. Mirage tanks, tank destroyers. Desolator. Prism Tower takes out the Desolator. Smart move. Tank's gonna walk around. There's a push in. Anything. Uh, hits the barracks up top with the Eagles. Did not lose one. The granos are no match for those hidden mirages around the building. They did not get quite enough damage off on them. Are being built up over here. Black tracks. Here come the Eagles again. They have very little anti air. Take out the barracks. Price is two Eagles, so again, dollar value wise, that's not really worth it, but tech wise, that is. We have a whole bunch of Chrono Legionnaires here. Just hoping for those Legionnaires. That I think you gotta go and go right here. Grab that MCB if you really want to do Just pop them all over just to have kind of other in the back of the base. What are you gonna go for? Battle lab. Nice. Oh yeah, demo truck. There goes the battle lab. That out. The collision gets that out with the battle lab. That's funny. Hey, right, demo truck's coming through. The defensive chair drop. Legionnaires back in the base. Oh, all the current Legionnaires got roasted. Alright, just coming through. Big demo truck on the front of the base. Death layers won't work. Legionnaires not good against that. There goes the MCV. If they can get power down, that's gonna be. Yep. There's not much you can do there. Another demo truck. Those are so fun to see when they're used correctly. Last few of those. Still trying to pump them out. He does have two war factories and a ton of money, but with the AFC. Call them GG's. Quick run this place for game five. We got Barn Burner here. Triple score for Drunk Master 152,000, 102 lost to 120 pool. Game 5. Well, winner takes all, both going Soviet. Uh, Drunk Master up top in yellow, Funky Monkey on the bottom in red. Tech this is to win the semi pro division of Red Alert 2 World Series for February 2024. Uh, if I remember correctly, the winner of this one gets 40 bucks, so that's not a bad haul. Playing some games here. Close down now with their typical fodder. Let's get the second building out first. It's sentry gun on the right. That seems to be the play from everybody right now. Squeeze that corner off. I'm also going to try a conscript rush. Let's see play. Oh, he holds him up. Oh, he garrisoned the silos back there. That's funny. Oh, we're going to try a conscript rush. There's one tank coming through. 
Project Master is getting the tanks out a little bit faster this whole set, but it's not like detrimental to how Punky's been playing. Those entry up front man probably knock those out. Black it automatically got an elite conscript. Battle bunker right away. Counter. Conscript to toss in. Spoof is harassing his base. Oh, he's gonna push up with three right away. Force him to retreat. Pushes over to the right. Gets into backup. That's all he wanted to get them out of his base. Comes up with the constraints again. I imagine Funky's gonna go uh, attack real quick just to end that. Still War Factory from Drunken up top. Only one still down below for Funky. He's still building oils. Yeah, Funky's a little bit behind an economy, but not a ton. Not too bad. Still building oils for Funky. Uh, going over here, it looks like Funky's gonna try to get that oil. He is gonna be close. He's running just let him take it. He did not get in. Oh, it's gonna be close. Oh, one tick. That was. You now, as I said, he tries to get around. Does not get much out of it. Well, not the sandbags, but another sentry goes up. And this likes to be a lost battle by Funky. He's gonna retreat, take the sentry gun. Does manage to get the power, and then it's just gonna leave his fodder there. Drunken sent the tank the absolutely wrong direction there. And now it's chase is on. Drunken's got numbers, so I'm gonna see if he can get that right. Not get, he needs to get that one that's taking the threat damage. Sentry did not to get a single shot off. Here comes some reinforcements. Three war factories down here by Monkey, but he is so far behind. The drunken's gonna go back and grab that. Tank command is extremely difficult. There's radar. No radar up there, but again, he's got tank command. He's in his base. Let him take that side. Or are we gonna try to base trade? Because that's not gonna work for him. Just get a dust later out. Knocks out that tank. Gets a couple more. Gets him out of the base. Forward, forward barracks. Try to chase him down. Courage runs out. Going to get into a couple of the tanks, but not a ton of them. There's more drones coming out. Six up top and two down to two at the bottom. So now Funky's just playing with fire, trying to catch back up. He's going to get cut off here. This is going to end poorly. Let's get that one right out, but. He's completely outmatched and on the wrong side. I hope that those all find homes. Try it. I'm into two separate groups. One, two, three, four. You got four. Maybe five. That's a couple cascades. That, that one still got one. Yeah. Oh. Now we figured it out. And I'm not just later than both sides. He went hard tech here. Iron Curtain going with Green have to go, but we have big War Factory going. Although Drunk Master is out of money. Funky Monkey's a little bit a little bit money left, but not much. There we go. Not recovered. Huge group of tanks. They're just harassing them with these drones and a lot of them are finding homes. That's pretty impressive. Get over out from Drunk Master first. I need to see some anti-air real quick, or else that's just going to obliterate that base. Gear of reporting. Ooh. We got some flak tracks coming. Tesla coil and a service depot, so he must be ready to get a second MCP and try something cheeky. I'm currently ready about a minute for Funky. Flak tracks out. And Drunk's got his own group of drones that come get a cup one, two, three tanks. 
Got a reference. Got gotcha. four heroes out and a whole bunch of tanks in the base. That one is going to do enough damage. If he pushes through, he can get the MCV at Battle Lab and just pretty much end it. Reinforcements have arrived. Iron Curtain Salem, the Iron Curtain itself. We got drones coming out just to try to stop the tanks. Here, I was going to get that front first barracks. It might get the second one. MCV is gone, but he does have the service depot. He feels like building that. Healers are gone. Does survive the play, but here come six more. Or he only bring five. Five more of the kill offs. Holy cow. That's going to end poorly. All these escalators cannot stop. Air units. I G crews that currently do not have sound or that on. I do not actually have Spotify right now, so it's gonna be a temporary thing. It's two down. We did bring the sixth one finally. For the nuke reactor, force shield on the nuke reactor. Gets it anyway. I think that's going to be the game. Lose we'll the MCV. Iron Curtain on drones. Yep, that's going to be the end of the MCV. I think that's, yep, that's GG. Gets, monkey gets the win. Final score on game 5, Drive Master gets 228 with 120 last fight being 267 and 77.